Hi, I'm Tim Cooper. And in this short video, I'm going to show you how to set up Zapier integration in Groove Pages. And the reason why I'm making these short videos is over the coming days, weeks, and months, I'm going to be doing over the shoulder funnel builds. So I'm going to be building out high converting funnels and landing pages, showing you how to do it for free using free software. But there are some things that are common to all of these funnels. And so instead of me having to sort of repeat the same training over and over again in every single video that I create for you, I'm making a series of smaller videos that are specific to things that are part of every single funnel build. And that includes setting up your integrations, your mailing list integrations, uh, getting your images optimized and getting everything ready, like getting your color palettes, getting all that sort of stuff uh, organized and planned before you actually start the funnel build. And in this video, as I said, I'm going to take you through how to set up a Zapier integration in Groove Pages. Okay, so let me just jump across, share my screen, minimize my video, and let's get on with it. Okay, so here I am in my Groove Funnels or Groove Digital Dashboard. I have the upgraded version, so I invested in the Platinum Lifetime member uh, upgrade, which to me was a no-brainer, but of course you can do so much with the freemium as well. Like you can create up to three websites and you can have up to 500 contacts in your email autoresponder. So a very, very generous and full featured offering even on freemium and it's a lifetime premium. It's not a, it's not a trial. It's no tricks. It's a, it's a crazy thing. Okay. So let's look at the first step to do. So the first step is actually set up the integration itself. So we click on this little hamburger menu over in the top right of the screen, open it up and we click on my integrations. Now, the thing with Zapier is that you should have an integration for each Zap that you're setting up, okay? Um, because you may want to do, you may be getting information from different pages for different purposes. So it's not just a matter of setting up one Zapier integration. It's a matter of if you are wanting to grab information from a specific page and then do stuff with that, then you should have a zap per, or well, you should have an integration per zap you want to create. So I'm going to create a new zap and we're going to come down to Zapier, which is right in the very bottom here. I'm going to call this one demo zap. And it's as easy as that. Update, we're done. So now we've got a Zapier integration. Right, let's get on with this. So now we come to our manage sites and funnels because we want to create a page and I'm going to just create a, a new site. I'm going to start with a blank template because I'm not going to build out a full funnel here. So I'm just going to call this a Zapier demo. Right, because I said in future trainings, I'm going to be going through and showing you over the shoulder how to build fantastic, great looking, fast, high converting pages, but here we're just going to be looking at the Zapier integration. So I'm just going to bring a block in, I'm going to bring a wireframe, I'm going to come empty, and I'm going to select empty container, I'm going to drag this in, drop, and there we go. So with anything as far as your integration is concerned, as far as form data, is we want to start, we always start with an empty form. Okay, so we're just going to pick up this empty form and drag it over into here. Now we can get a bit, uh, if we obviously we don't want the form going across, we can, we can do some formatting. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time formatting here, but um, we can do, we can do formatting. I can come to the container here and I can make the sizing, sorry, not the spacing, the sizing here. And I can say that I only want it to be 40%. Okay. So it's as easy as that. Now, the reason why we start with the empty form is because this is where we set up our integration. Then into that empty form, we're going to bring our form elements. So we're going to bring our, our input fields. So we're going to just bring those input fields in and just drag them, drop them into the form. I think we'll, we'll, we'll only have two, two fields, a name and email address, and we'll have a button. Okay. And of course we want to have a, have a bit of spacing. So we can come in here, put some spacing in just so we can see what's going on. So it's probably put like a 
0.75 rem is good. Okay. I said, I'm not really, this, this tutorial isn't about making things look nice. So maybe we could make things look very, very nice here, but this is just showing you how to integrate this with Zapier. So now with this, we come to configure and this is going to be, uh, we can call this F name, F name. And we're going to call this first name. Now these are, these are identifiers that we are going to use when we bring the, the data into Zapier. And this one here, we're going to call email, email, and we're going to call this email address. And we're going to have validation here. We want to validate it as a valid email address. And we're going to say that it is a required field. Okay. And then the submit button is going to be submit, or we could say send, and the action is to submit the form. Okay, so that's setting up the fields within the within the box. And you can see down the bottom of the screen here, we've got a we've got a, a breadcrumb of everything that's on the page or from what's selected here. Okay, so now we've actually got the form container selected, and this is where we set up the configuration. Okay, so here we come to configure, and we say the integration is going to be the, 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 the demo zap. Okay, so that's the that's the Zapier integration that I set up for this demonstration. And then of course, we can send it off to do something after they've submitted. So we can send it off to a page, we can send it, we can send them somewhere else on the, we can send them somewhere else on the page to, to another block on the page, we can send them to another to a different site, or we can open up a pop up. For this, I'm just going to say none, and we're going to go update. Okay, I'm going to come to the page here. I'm going to call this Zapier Demos. That's all good. I'm going to go save. And I'm just going to publish this to, uh, to my Groove account. I'm not going to put it to a, to a domain. And just to show you what's going on. So this is now being published. Give it a, sometimes it can take a minute or two. I'm going to click on the link here. And here we have the form. So I'm just going to put some demo data in here. So I go Tim, I'm going to put an email address in here. And I'm going to go send. And of course, it's not going to, we're just going to go successfully sent, but now we've got some information to play with. Now I'm going to come across to my Zapier account and I'm going to come to Zaps. I'm going to, say to create a Zap. So now we've got our integration. The first thing we want to do is we want to look for Groove Funnels, okay? So here's our Groove Funnels, and we're going to say that when a new form is submitted, this is what we wanted to do. And now we've actually got to log in to our Groove account, the, the one that we've got set up with this particular Zap, or no, the Zap integration. And because I've already got a Groove account attached to this account, because I've, I've used it for other actions, I can just use my existing one. But now we've got to say, what is the integration? And now we can see here, it's demo zap. That's one we want to use in this example. I've got, a, I've got another zap that I'm using, another integration I'm using for another zap, but I want to use the, Zem, the demo zap here. And now that I've got this, I can go refresh fields and it's going to go back. And because we did that test data with, with Tim and my email address, we're not going to have some data here to, to play with. Okay, so we can test the, test the trigger. And there it is. Okay, so this is the information that we, that we put in. And now we can continue. So it's now a matter of what do we want to do with this data once we've got it? Well, we can do lots of things. Just for this example, I'm just going to send off an email, but we could add a row to a spreadsheet. We could uh, integrate with another autoresponder. We can do all sorts of really good stuff. But in this, this situation, I'm just going to go into Gmail and I'm going to say, send an email, continue. I'm going to choose my Gmail account. So I'm going to connect a new account here. I'm going to choose my Fluid Media Consulting at Gmail. I'm going to allow. 
I'm going to continue. All right, so that's all connected. So go on. So I'm going to, who am I going to send this to? Well, I'm going to send it to, um, to maybe the person who sent the email and who, who filled in the, in, in the information. I'm going to just pick up that email straight from the Groove form, right? And I'm going to say it's from this and my name. I'm going to put my name in here, Tim Cooper, right? You can send a, you can send a notification to yourself. You can send yourself an e a notification email saying that you've received a new inquiry, right? And here we could say, uh, "Thank you for your inquiry. Here is the information you provided." Right, and then we can go name, email, and we can come here and we can just click on this and this is gonna populate. Uh, one of our staff members will be in contact with you shortly, okay? Best regards. Blah, 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 right? Okay. Uh, don't need a signature. Don't need a so you can go refresh again. Uh, required. Silly me. Uh, new inquiry. Oh, thank you. Maybe say thank you for your inquiry. Okay. And we're going to, now that we should have enough there to say that the form is complete and then we can go continue. And that's it. It's as easy as that. We can actually, it's always good to test your, your actions. So we can come down here and we can go test and continue. And that was sent to the account. And now we can go turn on zap and we're done. And it's as easy as that, okay? So, so I just wanted to show you both sides of the, of the integration. So how quick and easy it was to actually set up the, the zap integration inside of, of Groove, where, how, how you use the actual Form the empty like the actual form element to set your to set your, um, your integration where you, you know where you want to send it to, and of course then how to bring it into Zapier. So I hope you found that information useful. Please, uh, if if you did find this useful, please uh, give me a big thumbs up, and also subscribe and hit that bell because as I said I will be giving you more over the shoulder training in the coming uh, weeks and months about how to build great looking fast, highly converting pages, funnels, like the popular funnels, landing pages, all sorts of stuff, local business, sell stuff online, sell stuff offline. I'll be showing you lots and lots of stuff. So, um, so stay tuned. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.